Hi folks, this is all the fruit. And this monster here is an Encephalartus or bread fern. Most probably Encephalartus laurentianus from the eastern Congo, but I'm not completely sure. <laughs> and this stuff has gigantic cones. It's not a true fern, it's a cicat. And cicats are gymnosperms, like they're relatives of conifers. They seem to be some of the most primitive conifers in the world. Well, Encephalartus is known as bread fern or kaffir bread. I always thought those things are very toxic, and actually they are, but I guess if you are hungry enough, you can make anything into food. And look at the size of those cones. They are like, what, over a half a meter long and over 20 centimeters thick. Well, the main food source, at least for humans, is in the trunk. Basically, you can get a lot of high quality starch from the trunk if you know how to detoxify it. The fruit, well, the seeds seem to be toxic. But this layer around the seed seems to be so good that baboons and other animals actually destroy the whole cones in order to get at this tasty layer. And now I will act like I'm a baboon. And get a small piece. of this stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I guess baboons have a different taste than me because this stuff is bitter and astringent. Yeah. So I guess I'm not a baboon after all. It seems that, well, humans are feeding the seeds or the layer around the seeds to livestock also, but it doesn't seem to be, there don't seem to be a lot of records of humans eating the fruit. There were some mentioning of humans eating the fruit, but it wasn't as extensive as wild animals eating the fruit. So I guess it's not good enough for humans. I'm not gonna go into the trunk of this tree and uh, take out the starch. I think this is too much trouble and I do not want to destroy this beautiful tree. If this is Laurentianus, the leaves can grow up to seven meters in length and the trunk can grow up to 15 meters over hundreds of years, but yeah. Basically, that's all I'm gonna try from this fern. The supposedly edible layer around the seeds, which turns out to be just bitter and astringent. So folks, I'm not sure if this is the species Laurentianus. If you have some idea if it's the species or some other one, please tell me. Here I show you a couple more features of the leaves and trunk. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the parks and gardens of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.